Hello everyone, I'm Berries, and I'm sure that you're definitely noticing that this is a different video, considering there is no Fall of Cybertron or Warf Cybertron gameplay right now. There's a good reason for that. I finally got it. Yeah, so my uh, Transformers Reactivate Optimus Prime finally came in. I don't know how to do a toy review or anything, so this is kind of just me. Uh, it's my first time, you can see my hairy arms and everything, woo. Um, but we do have, I, I actually have him, and I have him in his vehicle mode, and uh, yeah, not bad, I must say. I am very surprised by how accurate it is, uh, especially here in vehicle mode. It does have this thing, but you know what, whatever, I can, I can work with it. Um, I can just say that that's like an engine or something. It's not properly formed together, but whatever. I'm surprised that it, uh, it, first of all, that it came, but, um, yeah, so, here's my review on it, I guess. <laughs> so the truck mode here is very accurate to his in-game, uh, portrayal here. You've even, I, I, you can see that there's a little matrix of leadership back there, but, uh, yeah, this, this truck mode is really, really nice. I really like it. It does have some holes here in the back, but whatever. Um, if you guys want a size comparison, I don't really have much on hand. Uh, let me get that gun out of here. Uh, I've got Transformers War for Cybertron Bumblebee, not the Legacy one, the 2010 one. And so you can see kind of how they how they stack up together here, you know. You, I mean, yeah, I, the size is okay. Uh, definitely old Voyager class, which is nice to see. Get out of here, buddy. Old Voyager class, which is nice to see. It's nice to see them going back to the old big Voyagers instead of the uh, the more recent tiny Voyagers. But yeah, no, he's uh, he's pretty he's pretty good. I really like him. He definitely it definitely fits his uh, his role in game of kind of being a tank. Um, but uh, yeah, he rolls. Uh, the wheels here are oh Jesus! Sorry about that. So the wheels here are on um, they're on these little. You know, typical, they're not like uh, actual metal, you know, plugged all the way through kind of thing. They're, they're just kind of, you can plug them in, you can take them out, that sort of thing. Um, he rolls pretty well on, uh, on my desk, and so that's pretty nice. Um, but, you know, we didn't come here to see Optimus Prime in truck mode, did we? I will see you when I get him back in his robot mode in about two hours. Uh, don't break oh god okay <laughs> all right guys so here he is in his robot mode and yeah this is a really really good looking robot mode everything about this is just so clean and perfect you it everything kind of just goes where it's supposed to go um he looks incredibly game accurate. Like, I am surprised at how game accurate he looks. Like, this is exactly how he, how his, uh, his in-game model looks. Um, we don't really get to see that much, uh, battle damage, which is fair, because that's how his, uh, his, uh, model is like, so that makes sense. But, um, yeah, it looks really, really good. Um... Let's go over his articulation real quick. You can look up that far, down that far. Full head, 360, as you can see. His arms, oh, very stiff, go in the full 360. Bend the elbow that much, and then you can also bend them back that far if you want, I don't know why. Uh, his wrists, swivel, 360. Uh, they're very tight though, so I'm not going to. Um, arms can bend out that much. Um, his legs can go, whoop, his legs can go very, very high up, and then, uh, you can also bring them behind him here, uh, about that far, and then you can bend the knee. The knee bends quite a bit, uh, due to his transformation, so you can actually get his knee to go, uh, like that, so pretty far back. Um, ankle or, uh, <laughs> sorry, um, waist swivel, as you can see here, um, which is probably the only thing that's about, that's kind of loose on this, um, ankle pivot, so you can get some nice action shots from him, and, uh, yeah, so that's what his articulation is like.
he does come with his little Energon axe from his from uh, G1, and I am assuming that this will actually be a melee weapon that he uses in game. So that is super super interesting. He also has another accessory which is currently visible and it has been visible throughout the whole video and I'm sure that everyone has been wanting me to talk about it because it is super super interesting. So let me uh let me get them all up in his robot mode here. So, this version of the Op of Optimus Prime does have the matrix of leadership. It has been visible through his chest throughout the whole video. So let's get this open so that we can take a look at it here. As you can see, very, very nice looking matrix here. Let me take it out so I can show you guys better. Um, it is very small. There is no way to, for him to hold it, which is, you know, kind of unfortunate, but as we can see here, a very, very nice matrix of leadership. It's all clear plastic, so some people might be upset about that. I don't understand what the thing is about clear plastic, but apparently everyone hates it. So, uh, let's get that back in there. But yeah, so his robot mode looks ridiculously clean. Like it is, it is just not even fair, you know, just how amazing this robot mode is. This is by far the best looking Optimus Prime that I have. Well, I don't have much. Um, <laughs> I have, uh, I have, I don't have much actually to, to show them off with in terms of size comparisons. Um, I don't have much on hand. I do have Transformers War for Cybertron, Deluxe Class Bumblebee, and they scale really, really well together. Um, that is pretty accurate to, uh, to Fall of Cybertron at least in terms of their size and everything. So that's pretty nice. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what to say uh, about this Optimus. He looks great. I really like him. And uh, yeah, he, he's just all around pretty great. I really like him. Um, he will be available for pre-order tomorrow as of the time of this video going out. Hopefully tomorrow at least, if everything that, uh, if all the information that I've got is correct, then he should be available for pre-order tomorrow. So yeah, I hope that you guys have a great day. Make sure that you like and subscribe because I might be getting Soundwave, who knows? Um, so yeah, like and subscribe for potentially Soundwave in the future. And of course, for some reactivate content in the future. That's been all, I hope you enjoyed, goodbye.